So saying that we all originated from one common ancestor, um, that's just one of the miraculous things about life on Earth. Of course, you could say there's multiple common ancestors in the beginning, multiple organisms and so on. But the other stuff that you're talking about is this, these singular events, these leaps of invention throughout evolutionary history. Now, there's a bunch of people who were commenting, a bit surprising to me, who were basically skeptical of this idea. The idea of? Well, I would say evolution, honestly. The process of evolution, but when you just actually focus in on like, holy crap, uh, eukaryotes were invented. Holy crap, photosynthesis was invented. Like those are incredible inventions. And also we can even go to Homo sapiens, like intelligence. Like where did that come from? It's it, it, there's these mysteries. I think where that skeptical comments were coming from were also just the general skepticism of science. I think from the pandemic, people, maybe a failure of institutions and so on, they, they, um, there's been a growing distrust of science. And it's not so, so much that it's anti-evolution, it's, it's more of a stepping back and saying, wait a minute, maybe scientists don't have it all figured out. And I think um, to steel man that case is almost a step back and to realize there's so much mystery to each of these leaps. I, so it makes you wonder, is there something that in 100, 200 years we'll figure out that we totally don't understand yet. Like some, uh, you know, there's, I, I talked to a bunch of people about another mystery, which is consciousness, right? And there's people called panpsychists who believe consciousness is one of the fundamental laws of the universe. So there could be, um, you know, like we have laws of physics, there could be something that's like a consciousness field or something that permeates all matter. And so like there m might be, uh, it's kind of like Newtonian physics versus general relativity. Like we have a good understanding of how things happen, but we need another layer of understanding to fill in the gaps of the mysteries of it all. And that sort of is a sobering reality that maybe there is something we really deeply don't understand. Do you have a sense of where the biggest mysteries here are? Is it at the origin of life itself? Is it the leaps? that we're talking about. So you you see the beauty, you're fascinated about the translation mechanism. What, what are the deep mysteries there to you? We are nothing but chemical systems capable of um, formulating or answering questions about our own existence. Right. We humans or all of life, you think? I mean, humans, no, no. humans are. Uh, I mean, the fact that we can we even have this conversation about uh, our uh, place in the universe is is uh, at least to our knowledge is quite specific to our own chemical species. But yeah, it's kind of wild. We're 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 uh, introspecting on our evolutionary history, and we're just a couple of organisms. Yes, and we'd like another organism listening to this and like their mind blown. There's like three organisms, two of them talking and the third one's like, holy shit. <laughs> I think that understanding the, what I really find interesting about understanding origin of life or, or even contemplating about our own place in the universe, if at the end of this would come down to appreciating uh, or even before appreciating, really truly comprehending what it is that we got here. Um, that to me is a huge gain because there's no single question in biology. I think that will give that the, that will deliver the, that magnitude of that message and understanding. But understanding how life here started at first place, if if we, we truly comprehend that, we this is not a concept that is well thought in schools. We ask students to memorize these concepts. May, if they are lucky, they learned RNA world chicken and egg problem, et cetera. That's the extent to which that got, and maybe their biology teacher was personally interested in the subject matter, if they're lucky. And you know the saying that the, the uh, brain brains are evenly distributed uh, across any metric you can imagine, but opportunities are not. 
So if pe people aren't understanding the importance of this is because that's a lack of opportunity right there. That was skipped through the proper education and training in the delivery of why science matters or how science actually works. Yeah, but how do you even begin to uh, seriously think about the origin of life? I mean, uh, every problem of existence, of life, has its time. So I don't know if it's time to understand consciousness yet. We might be a hundred years away from that. The origin of life, I don't know if it's time for us to understand that yet. Maybe we need to solve so many more problems along the way. And it's so- It's not a competition of problems, right? So th there are all kinds of problems and it takes a lot of people to make the world. So you will always have some interesting brain in going after an interesting problem to their own. The issue here is that we, we need to, first of all, understand that we what we have going on on this planet is pretty good. Good planets are hard to find. If we are alone yeah. in the universe, that's that's huge. We need to take care of what we got here. And we are incredibly vulnerable to the changes that our own species also helped create on, on at the biosphere, at the ecosystem level. We take it for granted. We, we take what we created for granted because of the fact that we think we are some sort of ultimate end point, the most sophisticated, amazing thing that nature could generate. I yeah. think understanding, and not even understanding, but asking these questions of where did this even come from? How did this even begin? And attempting to understand that using chemistry and physics and biology, and because we can, that's the ultimate gift we can give back to the entire species on this planet. Yeah, I mean, it's humbling. It's humbling to realize the, uh, the complexity of this whole mechanism. It certainly puts humans in their proper perspective that we're not, um, just because we have brains and brains are intelligent doesn't mean we're the most intelligent thing because ultimately the the whole mechanism of nature seems to be orders of magnitude more intelligent. All all of it, like we're we're a bunch, we're like a hierarchy of organisms that have a history of several billion years, and that all somehow came together to make a human. And there'll be life after us, just as was life before us. And something that comes after will be perhaps even more fascinating. Yeah, uh, I think when you understand the magnitude of what happened here. There is there is no room for arrogance. It should overwhelm you and humiliate. It's pretty humiliating. Yeah, <laughs> it, you know, it's 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 quite amazing what 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 was what happened here. And there is no other discipline that will deliver that but exploring our own origins and looking at life as a more planetary system phenomena rather than one single species at a time, a collective look 